So you'll find some place in town, I guess. Close to Parker's preschool and Hell's and everything. I'll get by. You always do. I didn't necessarily mean that in a negative sense. <laughs> Not necessarily. So you're gonna do the, the Monte Carlo thing again? You're gonna need to sell? Well, I'm, I'm uh, gonna keep my eyes and my options open. Good. Rent and stuff like no, that. no, 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 no. I, I can't. I want you to. Would you? For Parker, then. I'll be all right. I'm sure you have enough for everything? You have enough cash? Yeah, I, I have some saved from before. Enough for rent? We'll be staying with Mike. I just, for now, you know, until I can get myself back on my feet. Unless you have a better idea. I'm gonna need some food and rent and stuff. I can't. No, yes, you can. I want you to. For Parker, No, then. Jack. We'll be all right, really. Sure you have enough cash? I've got some saved from before. Enough for rent. Jack. We're going to be staying with Mike. Just for now, just until I get back on my feet. Uh, unless you have a better idea in mind. That sounds like Mike has all the alternatives covered. Would you prefer that Parker and I pick out a nice cardboard box oh, in a back Stop alley? it, Carly. No, Jack, you stop it. I'm moving into Mike's cottage, not Mike's bed. Yet. No snide remarks, please. Oh, the guy makes a pitch for me to save my marriage and then he invites you to move in. It's classic, He's trying Carly. to be my friend. Oh, Mike's everybody's friend. He's always there when you need him. How long do you think he's going to bunk on that couch, Carly? I'm used to the rest of this town thinking the worst of me, Jack. But not you. You take my stuff. You give it away. You burn it. I really don't care. No, no. We are not going to do this. We are not going to end it like this. Not like this, Carly. I didn't mean to tear into you like that. I'm sorry. You and Parker are going to need your things. I hate shuffling him around. You want me to talk to him? I'll just confuse him more. Carly. If you want, I, I can help you get some of that stuff down. I thought for a second you were going to ask me to stay. I can't blame a girl for dreaming. Jack, I'm not trying to make a home with Mike. Not now. But after you've been there a while, who knows? I'm pregnant and exhausted, and most of the time I'm biting people's heads off, and I'm miserable the rest of the time, and I feel like hell, and I look like hell. No, you don't either. You're beautiful. Just like when you carried Parker. Pregnancy agrees with you, Carly. Which just proves my point. Mike is not going to want to stay on that couch forever. <laughs> He's just gonna have to get used to it. Oh, you know what he's gonna get used to, Carla? He's gonna get used to having Parker around and making plans for the new baby. And pretty soon, you guys will all start feeling like a family. I know how it goes. You are my family, Jack. No matter how many ways you say it's over, nothing is gonna change that. You are my husband. And for me, that still means forever. Come on, where is it? Did you lose something? Uh, an appointment card. I made a doctor's appointment weeks ago, and I, and I, and everything going on, I don't know where yeah, is it is. Is this it? Where did you find that? Under the bed in this book. Uh-huh. 
what to expect when you're expecting. I could write my own version of that. It's a... It's an important appointment, you know, I didn't want to miss it. For the sonogram, right? Yeah. But I, I didn't write it on the calendar, and I didn't know when it was. Listen, Carly, I know we decided we were going to go to the sonogram appointment together, but... Yeah. But... It's okay. Don't worry about it. Is there any more stuff upstairs? Yeah, there's a few things. Okay. I'll get it out of your way. Uh, Carly. Let me know if you need a hand. Why can't you just admit that you miss us, Jack? I do. So much. I would give anything for just five minutes of before. Before you slept with Mike? Before you conceived a baby? This is probably his? I mean, because for me, Carly, I can't remember more than that. I remember it all. And on our best, Jack, we were damn good. And why are we here? I guess we just lost faith in each other. We? <laughs> I wasn't the one who called off the wedding, Jack. <laughs> I didn't spend time looking for an invisible affair with Craig. Okay, I was wrong to be jealous of Craig. And I was moral when I turned to someone else after I thought I lost you for good. Pretty much. Well, there's no way that I'm going to get let one drunk an incredibly stupid night with mike erase all the wonderful memories i have with you well hopefully you'll make more living with mike now you listen to me jack snyder i have traipsed all around this globe from montana to hong kong and then back again and there's only one place on this earth that i have ever really lived and that is right here with you I have had more perfect in this house than I have ever had in my entire life. Perfect days watching you play with my son. And perfect nights resting in your arms. I have lived every dream I've ever had about a real home. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I hang my hat at Mike's or in Timbuktu, Jack. The only place I will ever really live is with you. You see, when you talk like that, it takes everything in me not to grab you and keep you here. Fight what you know is best for both of us. Tell me to come home, Jack. Please. 